Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. I'm KY4 BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. And today, we're going to be testing out antennas, but as you probably saw in the title, we're going to be testing out the Abri 18-inch antenna. But to do so really well, we need to kind of compare it against the stock rubber ducky, possibly a Nagoya antenna, as well as the Abri antenna. Now initially when we were going to do this test, we were going to use Bofangs, and so the Abris that we have are actually for the Bofangs and not for the Yesus that we're going to be using today. In a previous attempt at this test, the Bofangs just were not receiving well at all. So we're switching to the Yesus as a way to make sure the radio is not a bad piece. And you'll be seeing some adapters occasionally as we test the other uh, antennas. So let's get started in the next segment. Uh, I'll be on my uh, FT2DR. KY4CKP will also be on an FT2DR. And let's see how well the rubber duckies do at about a half a mile. All right, we're going to be testing at about a half a mile using the rubber ducky on these Yesu FT2DRs. Rubber Ducky for KY4 CKP Portable. KY4 CKP Portable on the stock rubber ducky on the uh, 2DR. Um, yeah, we're about a half a mile or so, and uh, but you're still coming in loud and clear here at Worldwide Headquarters. Roger, Roger. So no need in testing out the debris or any of that at this point. We're still able to hear each other just fine on the rubber ducky. So I will be moving now to the next location. Roger. Roger, roger. This is KY4 BDP Portable on the FT2DR with the stock rubber ducky for KY4 CKP Portable. KY4 CKP Portable on the stock rubber ducky on the uh, 2DR. Uh, yeah, we're about a half a mile or so, and, uh, but you're still coming in loud and clear here at Worldwide Headquarters. Roger, roger. So no need in testing out the Abri or any of that at this point. We're still able to hear each other just fine on the rubber ducky. So I will be moving now to the next location. Roger. Roger, roger. Alrighty. So first test is done half a mile. We didn't expect these not to work, but it's always good to kind of get a good baseline. Nice and clear, no static. So let's uh, go to the next location and we'll try out the same rubber duckies and we're going to keep going down the road. Here out in the country, we should be able to get five, six, seven, possibly even 10 miles down the road. We'll see you in the next segment. All right, so KY4 BDP Brian, he's going to go ahead and move out a little further. And uh, of course, like we did in a similar test previous with the big rubbery, uh, we're going to keep stretching out the distances, try to find that point where the rubber duckies can't cut it anymore. Uh, we'll be testing the uh, Nagoya 720s and uh, and then the newer uh, Abri, it's about an 18 inch, but it's uh, again, technically it's a tri-band, two meters, 1.25 meters and 70 centimeters. We're we'll testing on two meters. We want to test it and see if it has any advantages over say the Nagoya, of course, whether or not they have advantages over the rubber ducky. So we'll wait for his next call and uh, when he's ready at the new location, we'll bring you folks right back. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, KY4 BDP Brian is now about 4.3 miles away. There's some soft rolling hills between us, and even with the uh, the rubber duckies were dead, they, they weren't picking up anything. We switched over to these uh, Nagoya antennas, obviously quite a bit longer, uh, but we're still struggling. So we'll see if we get much of a contact here. Uh, if not, we'll switch over to the Abri antennas, and we'll see if they do any better. So let's uh, see if we can pick him up. KY4 CKP portable for KY4 BDP portable on the Nagoya antenna. Okay, so that last transmission, you were fairly decent. I don't know if you had tried any before that. But yeah, the last one actually wasn't too bad. There's some static or whatever on it, but it was uh, definitely a complete copy. Roger, Roger. Do you want to switch over to the Abri antenna now? Yeah, we've got a pretty good feel for what the, uh, the static and stuff is like with these, and the rubbers were, uh, were dead. So uh, we'll switch over to the Abris, and we'll bring the folks right back.
All right, we'll switch over to the Bree antennas, folks, at this 4.3 mile distance, and we'll bring you all right back. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. Now testing the Bree antenna. Go ahead. Yeah, you sound better than the Nagoya that we had on a little while ago. It's uh, quite a bit clearer. I'm at about 4.3 miles. Over. Yeah, generally speaking, I think you're a little bit more clear as well. Roger, roger. All right, I'm going to uh, tear down and let's see if we can stretch it out to five miles. Roger, roger. Uh, KY4 CKB portable, standing by for the next test. KY4 BDP portable, heading down the road clear for now. All right, so we've set up uh, road miles about 6.1 miles away, probably air miles you're looking at over five and a half, somewhere in that ballpark. Let's see if we can reach him with the Abri antenna. We may switch back to the Nagoya just to see. I was near some power lines uh, next to this little grocery store. Let's try. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. KY4 CKP portable. Uh, Good. Reaching you pretty decent still. Yeah, this is with the Abri antenna. Roger. Roger, Roger. Still using the Abri antenna. And you're at what, 6.1 miles? Yeah, road miles about 6.1, and I've got a car coming, so I've got to go move my truck. I'll be back. Well, we got the Nagoya antenna on. Let's see if it can make a contact. The Abris are definitely working at somewhere between five and six miles. KY4 BDP with the Nagoya antenna. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. I don't think we're going to get it on the Nagoya. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. One more time. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. So as far as I can tell, the Nagoya is not gonna work from here. So let's take this back off. Let's put on the Abri again. And again, don't make fun of me for my adapters. KY4 BDP portable for KY4 CKP portable. Uh, I haven't heard anything until just then, but you were coming through right then. Uh, not as good as the Abri, but still coming in fairly really decent, actually. Well, uh, I've switched back over to the Abri. You weren't reaching me at all with the Nagoya, so Nagoya to Nagoya was a no go. Roger, roger. I say we go to the Abri now for the entirety of the test. Let me go down another half a mile. Roger, roger. We'll switch back to the Abri and we'll catch you at the next stop. So there you have it. Nagoya to Nagoya, no go. <laughs> but the Abri to Nagoya, this had just enough transmission and receive that he was able to receive me and I was able to receive him. So now we're going to go straight to Nagoya. This is at around five to six miles uh, as a crow flies. Let's go on down this country road and see if we can get a little further distance in the next segment. Yeah, I think so. I heard the squelch break for maybe half a second, and I think it was you on the Abri, and uh, that's all I ever heard, and I don't think you were hearing me uh, at all at that uh, new location. Uh, I'm recording this right here just so we can uh, have the segment where we went to where we had failure. So 
the previous segment is the uh, the last successful test, and uh, from my side at least, this could be the the test that where we found the failure. Roger, Roger. So eight miles was uh, too far. Six point two or so. Uh, they were still working and a little bit shorter than that five point something for the uh, um, The other antennas and the rubber duckies stopped somewhere between less than a mile to four miles All right, I'll go ahead and wrap up my segment here uh, and then we can um, again just conclude these at the end to where we tested the failure All right so he went out about eight miles, um, and uh, I can only start picking him up again when he went back on his on his mobile radio, and he's still breaking up a little bit. You're breaking up right now, so I'm not sure if you're moving or uh, or what. I'm just catching bits and pieces of that. So uh, I think a pretty good test shows that upgraded antennas can make a significant difference. And we showed this in our earlier testing on the the Bofangs as well with the big what was it 42 inch debris. Um, it can be worth an investment in upgraded antennas. Um, the Nagoyas are good antennas. These Abris are surprisingly decent antennas. Uh, I don't know how good all their quality control is, but the two or three units we've had so far have worked pretty decent. So, um, again, pretty interesting test. Uh, these are on the Yaesu FT2DR and, uh, handhelds. Pretty nice, pretty nice handheld antennas on 146520 National Call Simplex. So we'll wrap this one up, folks. All right, folks, we're going to wrap this one up. This is Chris, KY4CKP. Uh, just a final recap here. The rubber ducky uh, stock antennas on these uh, radios, uh, and again, these happen to be the Yesu FT2DRs, they conked out um, somewhere around 0.6 miles. Uh, the next stop we did was about 4.1 miles, uh, 4.2, and, uh, and they were already... They were already uh, dead. They couldn't couldn't reach that far, so they'll get you a, potentially a mile or two, uh, depending on your terrain. The uh, Nagoyas, as you saw in the video and, and in the previous uh, video we did on the uh, 42 inch debris, the Nagoyas are a definite improvement uh, for uh, for the money. And as a somewhat newer brand, uh, that's still somewhat un, un, unproven uh, in the eyes of the public, I would say. The Abri have been surprisingly effective. Um, now, they're bigger. That's one of the things with these 18.2 inch Abris and with the 42 inch Abris. They are pretty effective. Uh, and, and so far, the small sample that we've had have, have worked just fine. Uh, you can fold them up. They come with a little uh, Velcro uh, keepers. Uh, so you can pack them away a little bit better. So there's sort of a trade-off. When they're extended, they're a little bit longer. Uh, but you can kind of fold them over uh, help to help store them. So they can be shorter than, uh, say, a Nagoya, but when they're fully extended, they're going to be longer than Nagoya. But uh, they do tend to reach out further. So, and they're pretty inexpensive. They're they're a little bit uh, cheaper than the Nagoyas typically are, 12 to 15 bucks. And Nagoyas, I think, are probably a little closer to 20 dollars. Either way, though, definitely a step up over the rubber ducky that comes with almost any radio, whether it's a Balfang radio, whether it's a, you know Kenwood, Icom, or Yaesu. So that's pretty much it for this one, folks. This is Chris, KY4CKP, for Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association, 73.